Let's spend a few moments trying to discover what Ornatrix plugin for Unreal Engine can do and how you can use it to create real-time hair grooms and edit them directly inside the Unreal Engine. So first thing you would do is sign up for beta and once you are in you would go to our website and download Ornatrix for Unreal Engine installer and then install it on your computer. So next I'm going to export some groom from a uh, application like Maya, Max or Cinema 4D where Ornatrix is already present. This step is unnecessary, you can create uh, completely new grooms inside Unreal Engine but it'll help us to start with a groom that already has some operators in it because it is still easier to manipulate uh, inside Maya or Max or any DCC package that we support. So here I have a basic groom with uh, some uh, very basic uh, mo operator stack containing some operators like freeze and curl uh, and as well as some changes made with edit guides. I'm going to select this groom, select this furball shape over here and uh, use the generate groom dialog and I'm going to select a directory. Uh, by default, it's going to go into grooms directory, but you can change this to anything I want. So I just uh, have a folder with today's date here and uh, pick some name. And after the name, you have to make sure to include extension.oxg.usd or usda, depending on how you want to export your groom. If you put usd, you're gonna have a smaller binary file. And if you put USDA, it's going to be a text uh, human readable ASCII file, but it's going to be slightly larger. I like to use USDA for uh, debugging later on if needed. So once I do this, just click generate. If I go to this directory, I can see that this uh, groom file was generated and I can drag this into my notepad application. So you can see the operator is inside. Each operator has some data in it. And uh, in fact, you can edit these parameters by hand if you know what you're doing. So uh, this is a very friendly format of uh, storing procedural grooms using Ornatrix. Next thing, uh, I will go to my Unreal Engine and I will launch the Unreal Engine 4.25. 4.26 is already out as of the making of this video uh, and we will have a build for it soon. So next you will create a new project. Uh, I selected the film and television events project just because the lighting there is better and um, I already created the project but basically for a new one you just click next uh, twice and it will take some time to compile the files and shaders uh, before your project is fully initialized so you might have to wait for a little bit. Uh, I, I have already done all of this and I already have this project set up. So for me, it's just going to load it uh, pretty quickly once the initial setup is performed. Once the project is loaded, uh, I'm going to go to edit plugins. And in this plugins, I'm going to uh, find the install directory and there we have if you're Ornatrix. I'm going to select enable to enable the plugin. And as you can see, the Unreal is asking you to restart it itself to uh, make sure that the changes are applied. So I'm just going to restart the Unreal Engine again. It may take a few minutes again to rebuild the shaders, but once you started, this uh, Ornatrix plugin is now enabled and we can close out this uh, plugins dialog. Now inside the scene, the quickest way to get our Ornatrix groom in it is to uh, take this new groom and drag it directly into the viewport or alternatively you can just copy this path right click here go import to game and uh, go to this directory select our groom it's going to import the groom here and then you can just drag and drop it directly inside the viewport the initial orientation may be uh, a little bit off so this is for example i think needs to be rotated by 90 degrees uh, to get our groom correct and as you can see when I drag it in we have a, a full native Unreal groom and it even has the simulation enabled. The shading is a little bit incorrect on my computer. You'll have to excuse me because I'm using an old laptop with a GTX 1080 video card which is uh, by today's standards quite outdated. Uh, I think this should look much better and uh, be much quicker on any new, newer system. So now that I have this here I can double click on my groom to open it when I open my groom, I get all kinds of uh, of properties that I control. These are the native Unreal properties, for example, in the hair physics. I can uh, turn off or turn on the physical simulation. Uh, but it also has this uh, Ornatrix groom asset properties. In here, uh, we have the operator data. And uh, in the operator data, I have all my operators. And each operator has the parameters. For, so I can adjust these parameters right here. For example, if I want to change the width of my hairs uh, to make them twice as thick, I can just change this value. 
uh, or if I want to go and uh, really increase the freeze on my hairs I can go to my freeze parameters and maybe change the curve a little bit it's going to recompile the groom and uh, make it a lot more freezy or I can just really up the value of the freeze and it's gonna make my hair even more frizzy. Again, you can control everything that uh, Ornatrix offers, including including the uh, hair from guides, uh, the number of hairs, the detail of the hairs. The only thing is that you cannot really adjust the parameters interactively here, and you cannot insert or delete operators. For this, uh, you have to use a special component that we have for Ornatrix in Unreal, and it can coexist side by side uh, with the Unreal's native component and we can even uh, go back and forth between them. So let me demonstrate this now. I'm just going to close this dialog and I'm going to add a, uh, an object into my scene. It can be really any geometry. So for example, in this case, I'm adding a sphere. I'm just going to place it at the center. And let me get rid of this object here. So. Um, on top of the sphere, uh, if I select it in my, uh, in my details view, I click the Add Component button and in here I'm going to type Ornatrix and find this Ornatrix hair component. Once I have the Ornatrix hair component added to my sphere, all I need to do is take my uh, groom here and drop it into the groom asset drop down here. Again, I may need to rotate by 270 degrees just to make the, uh, sure the orientation is correct. Uh, this will be fixed in an upcoming build where the orientation is automatically translated between various uh, host packages and Unreal. So I've added my hair here and uh, as you can see that um, the groom matches what we had in Maya and also um, it matches the native Unreal groom. But the difference is that uh, here I have all my operators listed as a list here. And uh, if I click on them, I can go and edit these properties like, uh, for example, freeze. If I expand the parameters and freeze properties and I can edit these properties in, in real time and see the, uh, the changes in real time as I drag the sliders without having to recompute uh, the groom each time. Overall, this will be a lot more responsive here and it's going to be the way to brush your hairs and do all kinds of other uh, user interface operations, whereas the native groom will be more like a final export step uh, for the Ornatrix groom. So uh, another thing I can do here is add new operators. So if I click my Ornatrix hair here, I can select add component and for example, uh, add a detail detail operator that we have here. In detail operator, I can go to my properties and for example, change the point count to 20. This will make this uh, this uh, hair a lot smoother. So if I apply some, uh, some more curl, for example, As I scale up my hair, you can see that uh, right now it's not so smooth, but because we added detail operator, I can change this uh, point count to something like 50 to make it a lot smoother. So we've updated uh, this groom inside this, uh, inside this component here. Um, and to update our groom over here, that's the native uh, Unreal groom, what I can do is uh, I can select this component in my uh, details view, right click on the groom in the content browser and use the update groom asset button, which, will, which is going to pull all of these properties and changes that we made to our groom into our um, groom here which in turn is going to update the, the native Unreal Groom. And uh, there it is, containing all the changes that we made. Again, if I expand it and um, go to my hair physics, I can re-enable the simulation. So you see that we uh, affected the properties uh, somewhat and the hair behaves and looks a lot different now. So you can use this workflow to add uh, existing grooms or even in some cases create new grooms directly inside Unreal Engine and to interactively update and tweak the properties of these grooms and then export and use uh, these groom assets directly inside of your game or Unreal application.